What's up, everybody? Graver here, and today we are going to take a look at something kind of special, and that is this, the Busby Twist Fury. Now, and forgive me, Manga Jay, but I know uh, something special and Busby are normally not the <laughs> same sentence, uh, but this is kind of special because while we've gotten a lot of pro blasters over the years and such like that, and this is not one of them, however... We've only had one, I would say, community-inspired blaster released um, in recent, in I would say, within the last year or so, and that was the X Shot Long Shot, which was based on the Orion Industries uh, Taurus, and uh, I'm not going to say the links because it's not, but it's based on the Taurus. Um, I'm not what it's still questionable. I'm not 100% sure if the long shot was actually licensed by Orion or if they just took the idea and ran with it. Um, however, the Twist Fury is the is officially licensed by Taffy for Busby to make a essentially a commercial grade skewer. Because uh, that's what this is based on. Um, this is based on the skewer by Taffy. Uh, it, the way it functions, the way it looks, it's almost basically down to the T. Uh, the only big differences are, one, this is injected molded. It is not 3D printed. But this is not a pro level or competition or hobby grade blaster. This is a store shelf uh, normal stock blaster. It fires long darts, and it has, like, a normal stock spring in it. Now, with that said, I still think this is an amazing, um, like, it, it, to me, this just seems so freaking cool that a blaster was officially licensed by one of the big four. Um, and the big four being Busby, X-Shot, Dart Zone, and uh, Nerf. Now. With that being said, we're going to get into the review of this thing, and we're going to do it just how we normally do. Uh, we're going to go over the aesthetics of the blaster, how it works. We're going to take it over to see what it comes with, take it over to the workbench, open it up, see what's inside of it, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it. So, the way the Twist Fury works is essentially just like the skewer. You pull back on the T-pull in back, you push this forward, you pull the trigger, and you fire a dart. Now, the neat thing is on the right side of the blaster is you do see the open bolt, so when you pull it back, you can actually see the full action there. It also has a clear plunger tube that is also open, and you can see the spring and the uh, plunger and all working like that. Uh, starting from the back going forward, you have the T-pull here, you have the grip here, which I must say is actually really comfortable. You have the magwell up here. Since this is a long, since this does fire long darts, you have to actually prime it in order to get a magazine in and out. Uh, these are the ones it comes with. It's an eight-shot Busby clip. Um, I gotta say the design of this is interesting. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had a Busby blaster. So I'm thinking if you had more of these, you can actually just kind of clip them together and kind, kind of banana them, uh, which honestly is really kind of cool. So I'll show you loading it in. It goes in right there. And again, with the clear window, you can see that. And also you can see if you're going to be out when you're uh, loading. So that's really cool. Uh, here you have your magazine release. Pull that down and pull. I gotta say, though, the magazine release for this is, it's not stiff, but, like, the Busby magazines have a lot of friction on this, and I'm sorry if that's I'm actually hitting the mic with that, but you can see here, well, it's gotten a little better, but I, I don't know if it's the design of the magazines or not, but I was having trouble getting these in and out at first, which was really odd. Uh, if you are curious, though... I have a 10-round Nerf banana mag, and yes, it is Nerf compatible, so you can use your standard Nerf magazines with it. 
So if you wanted to get more than eight shots out of it, you definitely can. Uh, going forward, you have, like I said, the magazine well, which have these interesting cutouts. It's not flared, so, I mean, the cutouts are just really aesthetic. Uh, you have a Busby uh, rail attachment point, or Busby rail up here, so no Picatinny on this. If you're going to use something, you could have it would have to be a Busby optic, which, outside of their flow scopes, the only other thing I know of is the Thermal Hunter. Um, scope but that's really it you have up front here uh basically what's mimicking the way the actual skewer works um with the skewer you have this would actually be your metal barrel that's coming out of the skewer and it does have the little post that you can put on the end of it so that you would have your orange tip unless you're using a scar barrel on it or something but yeah overall much like the skewer, a very simple design, uh, very well put together. I have to say, for Busby, this is actually pretty good. There's flex in the magwell, but like the body itself, there's very little creaky and like no flex in it whatsoever, which for a Busby Blaster, to me, that's damn good. So let's go over to the workbench, take a look at uh, the insides, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so... Here we are at the workbench. Um, as always, just to save time, I've unscrewed everything already. Um, now, here's the thing with Busby blasters. While, yes, on the left side of the blaster are all the screw ports, just like every dart blaster in existence. Um, however, the difference with Busby and like the other brands is Busby internals usually tend to stay on the side with the actual screw ports, so you need to remove the opposite side of it, So, which is why you don't see any screw holes on this side. Now, I did want to point out uh, one thing, and we'll figure out what's going on with the black piece when, I, when we uh, open this up, is um, the white parts, um, as you can see, are actually separate to the body of the blaster. Um, I'm safely assuming that this... Um, black part is also going to be separate it's pro it chances are it's most probably just screwed to the shell somehow um but or snapped in one or the other but yeah so this is the uh the blaster so let us take a look at the internals oh the other thing i wanted to make note of is this is your magazine release it sits right here with that spring sitting right there uh normally it would just kind of look like that however the post that holds this in is actually this post on the white part so when you remove the white part you basically remove the um the structure for that so just as a for for your information and the black part of the handle is just held in with one screw on the inside of the shell and you can kind of see it through the plunger tube right there on that side so uh if you decide to paint this thing up it will be very easy to separate everything out the green the white the black um the orange if you decide to but the primary pieces you're going to be easy easy to separate everything out to paint which is going to make that very fun uh so here are the internals of the twist fire yeah twist fire twist no twist fury i don't know why i keep wanting to call this thing twist fire uh the twist fury so yeah and it's fairly it's fairly basic and um that's honestly really good you have your plunger tube here with the uh, plunger and the breech release here. You have your catch, your trigger. This is a trigger lock because when you pull it back, or I shouldn't say it, it's, it's a trigger and a, not a slide lock, but I guess you can say a pull lock because when you pull it back as the breech goes back, this winds up going uh you wind up tripping this, which winds up pushing it down. 
here locking your trigger in place so there's no way to deprime it so when i mod this thing up that is definitely coming out uh, you also have linked to the trigger uh, you see this metal rod leading all the way up to here this is your dart gate now what is a dart gate because a lot of pro blasters don't have these because it's just basically breaches the dart gate is the way to load long darts it stays up until you pull until the um until the basically the breach pushes the dart into it and then once it does that it then pushes the dart in here which is how it gets loaded uh you have your front uh faux barrel up here to mimic the way the long barrels on the skewers actually did do look um there is also this thing here which I've been trying to figure out, I don't know exactly what the function of this thing is. It just goes up and down. It's screwed into place, so you have to take it out in order to get the faux barrel out. However, I can't figure out what it does because it's not tied to anything. It's not like it stops the breach or anything like that, or maybe it's supposed to. Like, if I take this out, I don't know what would actually stop me from, well, other than just physics and length, dumbass. Um, maybe it's supposed to be like kind of like a stopgap to make sure you don't push this thing all the way through. I guess I don't know, um, but we can maybe we'll figure out in the mod in the mod guide, um, which I will be doing. I'm actually waiting on some three D printed parts when I can finally find somebody to print them for me um, to basically turn this into a skewer, <laughs> essentially. Um, so that's going to be, that will be coming then. But yeah, this is the internals of the Twist Fury and really simple, um, very basic. Uh, you have your trigger, which goes to the catch, blah, 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 and all that stuff. I mean, like you're looking at it, but yeah really simple internals the uh dart gate is not a very complicated piece which is great uh this uh trigger pull lock is going to be very very easy to remove S still just don't know what the hell i'm doing with that thing but yeah oh and here you have your uh spring rest for when you're actually priming and yeah that's that's it for this thing so I'm going to button this thing up and I will give you my final thoughts in a moment. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Twist Fury. I have to say, this is a very, very nice and pleasant surprise from Busby. Um, a lot of times when I get a Busby Blaster, it's mainly for the aesthetics. It's not for its mod potential or its performance. Uh, however, this, I'm like I said, I'm pleasantly surprised with. The plastic is very well put together. The fact that literally everything separates so that if when you're painting this up or decide to paint it up, you will have a great amount of being able to um, solidify your cut to really like put this together very nicely. Uh, the white and the black are all separate uh, plastic parts. It's not attached separate painting the front barrel all that stuff it's going to be it's going to be a joy to paint honestly um i mean stock performance wise this thing is not bad at all i mean for a stock blaster you're getting pretty decent uh performance out of it i it's is it the quickest thing no because it is the pull prime instead of a pump prime um i do find pump primes are a little easier to use than pullbacks uh, but then again, I also ran a plus bow for years, which is a pullback. So this is kind of like bringing me back to um, form, and I am happy with that. Uh, I'm not going to say this is a major downside, but this was something I didn't want to throw out. Um, Pricing-wise, this thing is cheap as hell. This is $15. Uh, I found this at my local, uh, I think it was Dollar General. Uh, however, Dollar Generals are probably about as scary as uh, Goodwill outlets. 
I happen to find these on a shelf laying sideways. I got this, and I have a second one up there um, in my uh, in my uh, new unbox stuff. But I have two of these because I figured I found two of them. I'm going to get them, and they're not that expensive. So pretty cheap to get your hands on one of these. And also part-wise, um, there are already mod parts for this to bring it up to being able to use half darts. So you can get – I don't know. I haven't, like – gotten the parts yet uh that's going to be a separate video but i mean essentially you can get a skewer a injected molded skewer and you know there you go uh you know with a couple of 3d printed parts bringing it up to snuff you got a decent competition blaster right here so yeah overall i definitely recommend this thing uh i'm really happy with it and i'm glad i was able to find them uh that's going to probably be your Biggest issue is actually finding these things. But if you can, grab one or two if you can, if uh, you're able. But yeah, I definitely recommend this one. It's it's a good one. So, well, that's going to be it for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the twist fairy. And if you had your choice, what hobby blaster would you like to see made? um i guess corporate <laughs> um a uh a corporate release version of it let me know down in the comments below i love reading them and oh don't forget to click that little bell icon otherwise you may not know when me and arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel and don't forget we have the p.o box snail mail it's great lost to art you know love getting letters not junk mail though that's no, no one likes junk mail but anyway again thank you all very much for watching i will see you guys next time Later.